Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now, how bad is wheat? That anytime I mention uh, chapati and mandazi, and I tell you to stay off these products, you become so irritated. So today I come with answers. Now, in the body, we have two hormones. One is endorphins, and the other one is uh, exophins. Remember these two hormones. I'm saying two hormones because they are in relation to this context of wheat. Now, endorphins are designed, uh, are produced and make, uh, to make you feel good and they numb pain. Okay? So these are the hormones that uh, are produced after sex and sometimes when you have pain so that they can numb it and you feel good. <coughs> Exophins are, they act similarly, but they are stimulated by uh, external stimuli like food and that's where wheat lies. Now remember these two are the same, same hormones that are stimulated by a drug that is highly addictive and that is highly regulated by law. It's called morphine that is used to numb pain in cancer patients. Therefore, wheat has a compound that is called uh, gluten. Now, gluten is a protein. It's, 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 it's like food to bacteria in the stomach. And again, it has detrimental effects to your gut. How? It causes perforation in your gut. So it is highly inflammatory. Now, when you consume wheat, you get this gluten out of the wheat. <clears throat> now, once you get this gluten out of the wheat, this gluten is the one that will expose you to more problems. So, apart from it just perforating your gut, and remember, if it perforates your gut, it exposes you to protein allergies. So once you eat eggs, uh, the protein uh, infiltrates through those perforations, gets into the immune system, and it elicits an immune reaction. And therefore, you get those skin eruptions that uh, you call protein allergies. This is caused by the egg white. So if you happen to have these allergies, only consume the yolks. Because yolks don't cause uh, protein allergies. Now, <clears throat> perforation of the gut. Then number two, activation of exophins. So it activates, this, it activates these exophins and makes you feel good about uh, eating chapati. Okay? And that brings a problem. Remember again, wheat and gluten are responsible for causing the, the celiac disease. Celiac disease exists as two, both the celiac and non-celiac disease. So some of you uh, will experience celiac disease which comes with symptoms like uh, uh, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal discomfort and the pains, and even gastro uh, uh, reflux disorder. So uh, others will tell you when I eat wheat I'm just okay. Now it's just a disaster waiting to happen because you're, you're developing a disease called non-celiac uh, disease which is an asymptomatic celiac disease. So later on in life you'll experience migraines, malabsorptions, and, um, and uh, lack of sleep, uh, depression, and these mental problems, and diabetes. So basically it's just a disaster waiting to happen. Now, remember, uh, actually on that note, let me mention that white, brown bread, white and brown rice, white and brown chapati are all the same.